Hey, what's going on, Phone Dags? Boo HD here, and it's that time we recap several of the best tech devices to hit the market during the month of April 2016. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right into it. This is the 993 from ADV Sound, designed for musicians, but really for anyone who loves music. It's an insanely durable speaker crafted with a strong aluminum shell. It features two 37mm high power 18 watt drivers that work in unison with two parallel aligned passive radiators to provide an ideal acoustic resonance. It's built with APTX technology to allow for CD quality wireless streaming from your smartphone, um, and it includes support for AAC. Since it's a wireless speaker, it of course has to feature a battery. It features a battery large enough to pump out 12 hours of music playback at about 60% volume. As someone who recently got a Bose SoundLink Mini 3 as a, a gift over the holidays, that's actually the speaker that came to mind when I first saw the 993. However, the 993 cost a fraction of the price. It can stream higher quality audio. It features NFC 2.0 for pairing and can quite frankly get equally as loud, if not louder. I'm still impressed to this day after using the speaker for at least a couple of weeks now uh, with you know how loud the speaker can get as well as how crispy the sound is given its size. Now the 993 is available for pre-order on Indiegogo right now and if you use the link below you can get access to the exclusive super secret perk where you can pick up this speaker for only about 120 bucks but it does expire pretty soon so act quick. This is the Sateki Aluminum Mini Universal Docking Station. This is actually a pretty darn cool device for Mac or Windows users. Uh, what it does is it connects to your computer via USB, and it basically just offers a ton of extra ports to make your life more simple. I mean, let's be honest, searching for the right port or the right cable in a web of other cables can be pretty cumbersome. This dock features a 4K HDMI video output to a single HDMI display, a DVI output port, four USB 3.0 ports, RJ45 gigabit Ethernet network ports, and best of all, it's compatible with Windows 10, 8.17, and Mac OS X. What is worth noting is the fact that two of the USB ports are up front, as well as an audio jack port for easy access, and the dock itself is crafted with aluminum, so none of that cheap, tacky plastic that you see with uh, many other docking stations. Last time I checked, the Sateki docking station was on sale for about $150, so if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description to check it out as well as everything else mentioned in this video. These are the Nixplay Wi-Fi digital picture frames. When Nixplay offered to send these out to me for review, I didn't really know how to feel initially. I'd never owned a picture frame or digital picture frame before, but with Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up, I thought they would actually make for great gifts. They sent me the 10 inch and the seven inch versions, and they do come in different colors. These are pretty unique picture frames in that they actually connect to the cloud via Wi-Fi. So you don't need to tediously preload these frames with images via an SD card or anything like that. You can use the Android or iOS apps to send over your Facebook, Instagram, or Apple photos to the frame wirelessly. You can even use Flickr and Dropbox as well. The build is predominantly plastic and it utilizes a cable stand design to keep the frame upright. Now the 4x3 high resolution IPS display can appear somewhat pixelated when you view images up close, but from more than a few feet away, to be totally honest with you, images look very bright and detailed. To save power, you can enable the Smart Hue Motion Sensor, which will actually activate the frame when motion is detected nearby. If you want to purchase these frames, I'll leave a link in the description. at t sent me the Tile 2.0 to include in this video for the fun of it. Losing your stuff is no fun, so by default, finding your stuff has to be fun, right? This is Tile. It comes in a fairly small, compact, simple square design with a nice big cutout to allow you to attach it to a set of keys or a backpack. When you're in proximity to the device, you can use the Android or iOS app to give it a ring. It features Bluetooth 4.0 and a one year long battery. You can pick one up for yourself for about 25 bucks on AT&T, or you can pick up a four pack for about 70 bucks and save some cash. I'm going to end this video with two of my favorite products from Amazon released over the past month, the Amazon Echo Dot and the Amazon Tap. We reviewed the Echo Dot in a dedicated and detailed video, so you should go watch that if you haven't already. Essentially, it's just the Amazon Echo without the speaker. Instead, it provides you the freedom of connecting a speaker of your choice to reap the benefits of an always listening voice assistant named Alexa. She's pretty great. I've been uh, talking to her for the last year or so. She turns my lights on and off. She reads me the news. She uh, tells me the weather. The Amazon Tap, on the other hand, is a Bluetooth speaker version of the Echo. 
So yes, it features a speaker, and yes, it does feature Alexa, but it also features a battery to allow you to bring the speaker with you on the go. Maybe you're going on a walk to the park or just having a picnic or something. You can just grab this speaker and go. To activate Alexa, you just tap on the mic button, hence the reason why it's called the Amazon Tap. The Amazon Tap does retail for about $130. The Amazon Echo Dot retails for about 90 bucks but I believe the Echo Dot is currently backlogged and can only be purchased with an Echo right now. Regardless, links for all three Echo devices will be in the description, so you should go buy one. Alexa is definitely worth having in your life. I wasn't able to understand the question Oh my God, she's listening. With that said, those are some of the best tech devices to hit the market in the month of April, 2016. If you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned in this video, links will be in the description to further explore each product, maybe buy on, maybe not. It's up to you. <laughs> As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDag.com. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. But I'm gonna stop talking. I will see you guys later. See ya.